The Congresswoman Nancy Mace sounding the alarm on the Trump indictment. Here's her tweet. You are watching a sitting president use his DOJ to put his top political rival in jail. Both sides of the aisle should be able to set aside their emotions and see how dangerous of a precedent this sets. Brett Baer with me now. Brett, you've been covering this. In your opinion, is this a dangerous precedent? Hey, Stuart, good morning. Um, you know, there's a lot of people weighing in on that, and Mark Levin and experts, yep. legal experts up and down, saying, uh, yes, it, it is, and that it is a high bar to get over to uh, go forward with these charges. But on the flip side, uh, you talk to people who look at the inside of this indictment uh, and say there are troubling uh, facts in here if they are as presented. We haven't heard the Trump defense specifically on why he had those documents, why he didn't turn them over. We've heard broadly about the Re Presidential Records Act. So I think we have a lot more to learn about how they're going to defend against this. But but yeah, for a lot of Republicans, it feels like a, a two-tiered system of justice. Do, do you think it is a Democrat strategy to keep Trump in court on various charges from now to the next election. You know, it's it possibly, but I think that they're just going forward with uh, what they feel is is uh, breaking the law. It's it's just a high bar when you're dealing with a political opponent that yeah. happens to be leading in the GOP nomination. I will say that it also raises the bar for the special counsel investigating President Biden on documents charges. I mean, there's got to be more pressure now yeah. uh, to either come forward with something or to come forward with something against the current president. Why am I not seeing any media coverage of the bribery allegations being levied against Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. I, I don't see that in the media. I see it all about Trump and the indictment. Yeah, and that's why there's Fox News Channel and Fox Business Network. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they just, they just don't cover this stuff, that's and true. it's really amazing. It's, yes. You look around and you say, this is truly amazing. Yes, I mean, you and I have had this conversation so many times in, in, in recent years, and it never changes. The border is never covered. The bribery suggestion, not covered. The other side of the coin, not covered. I don't know how to explain it. So I'm going to move on, Brett. So let, let's get out of this before we get too deep. <laughs> okay. I want to talk golf, and I know you do too. The U.S. Open underway today. I do. The big news in golf is obviously the Live PGA merger. Saudi Arabia, this is my opinion, I think they bought golf. How do you feel about that? Listen, I think in the big picture, it's going to be great for the game of golf to come back together. But yes, money talks. And for all of the talk that the PGA and the commissioner there said at the beginning and all of the, the moral um, high ground that they were trying to take in keeping players on board uh, seemed to go out the window. And now uh, they're trying to figure out how to go forward. We don't know all the details of how it's going to work out. This week is about majors. And for the last two majors, the live golfers, Done pretty yeah. well. Brooks yeah. Kepka winning the PGA. Phil Mickelson, Brooks Kepka coming in second at the Masters. So LA Country Club will be fun to watch. I, I don't think the media has given enough attention to what the Saudis are doing in various sports using their money. They bought golf. They're bidding uh, golf oil money, not Saudi money, but golf oil money is bidding on Manchester United, for heaven's sake, in soccer. They already own Manchester City. This is an extraordinary thing, and it's, it's a very recent development. I don't think it's getting enough coverage. I agree with you. And Saudi is doing a lot of things. They've got F1 now. They've got, yeah. uh, you know, Ronaldo playing on the, the football team there. Uh, it's, they're putting in a ton of money in sport, uh, and it's changing the dynamic inside the kingdom. Why are they doing that? Change the image of Saudi Arabia? Well, I think it's multi-front, but, uh, but they're also you know, bringing a lot of sport to Saudi Arabia, which is, uh, you know, trying to open up, I think, in the big picture. Uh, but yes, I mean, the live PGA thing was shocking. Yeah. And it was shocking to people in golf. But overall, uh, in the long run, depending on how it works out, it's probably going to be good for the game. I was on the beach in Cape Cod when that news came through and I nearly fell out of my deck chair. But it was a huge story. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, we will watch you tonight on